Assalamualaikum dan apa khabar semua Selamat datang ke channel saya Cikgu Hasnita Wow, interesting But unfortunately, this is not the transformer that I refer to Yes, this transformer. Previously, we have learned about ideal transformer, where in this type of transformer, the electrical power is conserved when it is transferred from the primary circuit to the secondary circuit. But in a real transformer, some of the electric power is lost when it is transferred from the primary circuit to the secondary circuit. For example, as for ideal transformer, the ratio of the input power to the output power will be equal to 1. But for a real transformer, where there is some power loss, the ratio will be less than 1. So the value for E here will be less than 1. A real transformer is said to waste energy by converting this energy into an unusable thermal energy. So to understand what are those factors causes the power loss in transformer, let's take a look at this diagram. There are few factors causes the power loss in transformer and the first factor is due to eddy current. So what is this eddy current? Eddy current is said to be a small loop current induces in the soft iron core due to the changing magnetic field in the primary and secondary coil. And this eddy current will create their own magnetic field which causes a heating effects inside the coil. Second factor is the magnetization and demagnetization of the core. This is due to the changing in direction of the alternating current. So the core will continuously magnetize and demagnetize. And when this happens, an extra work has to be done to change the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field in the core. And this will definitely result in energy lost. Alright? So factor number three is the leakage of magnetic field. If you look at this diagram, not all the magnetic field from the primary coil are linked to the secondary coil. So we say that an energy loss may also due to this leakage of magnetic field. This can be happen due to either an A gap or the bad design of the core. And the next factor is the resistance of the coil. You all know that every single wire, every single coil has their own resistance. And due to this resistance, heat is produced when current flow through the coil. So you have looked at what are those factors causes energy or power loss in this transformer. And definitely the power loss will reduce the efficiency of a transformer. So how to determine efficiency of a transformer, it is shown in this diagram. Efficiency of a transformer measure how well a power is transferred from the primary circuit to the secondary circuit and it is calculated as a percentage where efficiency is determined as the output power divided by the input power multiplied by 100%. A high efficiency transformer shows less power loss in the operation, while a low efficiency transformer shows that there is a lot of power loss or more power loss during the operation. Okay, let's take a look at this example on how to determine the efficiency of these two transformer. You are given transformer A on the left and transformer B on the right. So let's find the efficiency for transformer A first. Here, efficiency is given by the output power which is given by Vs 240 multiply with Is which is 0.04 Divide with the input power VP120 multiply by IP0.1 
okay? And times 100. So the efficiency for transformer A is 80%. Alright, and now let's take a look at transformer B. So the output power for transformer B is given by Vs, which is 900, multiplied by Is, which is 0 0.1, divide by the input power given by Vp, 2000, multiplied by Ip, 0 0.05, And multiply with the percentage 100 so the efficiency is 90 percent yes correct so from these two example we can say that transformer B has a higher efficiency compared to transformer A all right students we have looked what are those factors affect the power loss in transformer and how to determine its efficiency Okay, now let's find ways on how to overcome this power loss according to this diagram. You can see that this light bulb is connected to the secondary circuit of this transformer and it is light up dimmer. Why? Because of the power loss. So how to reduce power loss according to each factor? First, eddy current. How to reduce heating effect due to eddy current in a transformer? So we can use a laminated core. So if you look at this diagram, this core is laminated and normally it is painted with varnish. Second factor is power loss due to magnetization and demagnetization of iron core. So in order to overcome this, we are using soft iron core. Okay. So why we are choosing soft iron core? Because this type of core is easily magnetized and demagnetized. The third factor is the leakage of the magnetic field. So how to reduce the leakage? We must reduce the gap in between the primary coil and secondary coil. And this is done by winding the secondary coil on top of the primary coil. And the last factor is due to resistance in a wire. So to reduce power loss due to resistance in a wire, we choose a thick conducting wire with smaller resistance such as copper or silver. As shown in this diagram, when we are using thicker wire, the reading of the emitter is greater due to the low resistance. Compare when you are using a thinner wire, the output current is lower due to the higher resistance of the wire. So before we say goodbye, let us revise back what are the cause of energy loss in a transformer and ways to reduce it. Number one, eddy current. To reduce eddy current, we are using a laminated iron core that contain thin sheets of soft iron that are insulated from one and another. Second, leakage of magnetic field lines. This can be overcome by winding the secondary coil on top of the primary coil. Number three, magnetization and demagnetization of the core. So soft iron core is used as they are easily magnetized and demagnetized. And number four, resistance of the coil. So to reduce resistance, we are using a thick wire made of copper or silver to make the coil as they have a low resistance. So I guess that's all for today. Hope this lesson will increase your understanding on transformer and you can do more exercises for a better understanding. So, on the video description, I have prepared for you an exercises for you to try on. The answer for these exercises will be given in the next lesson, Generation and Transmission of Electricity, where you are going to see how is this transformer used as to increase or to reduce the voltage in transmitting the electrical power from the power plant to the consumer. Till then, thank you for watching and see you soon. Assalamualaikum and bye!